Internet marketing guru and author Michael Zappelin, who goes by Zappy, is a dot-com industry pioneer and visionary. Zappelin's first internet domain sale was beer.com, which he bought in December of 1998 for $80,000 and sold four months later for $7 million. Zappy then bought computer.com and brought the generic domain industry to the national stage during the 2000 Super Bowl. Please, check it out. Really, check it out. That's, 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 that's. Zappelin's simple yet effective and profitable business strategy is to buy carefully chosen generic .com domain names, build valuable content and traffic, sell leads and advertising from the site, and when the time is right, sell all or part of the site, or even go public, as Ancestry.com did in 2009. Generic domain names are great because you've got credibility and traffic. And I'll give you an example, weather.com. It's one of the most used websites in the world because of the brand, the name, and the credibility. Maybe not the best weather site, but it's the most used site. Even the biggest companies in the world are starting to realize the power of generic domains. So companies like CNN own money.com. Loans.com own my Bank of America. America Online owns Advertising.com. They understand the credibility and the users that they can get through these domains is a powerful asset to have. Having a generic domain name is very important in search. A lot of people will just direct navigate and that means that they'll type in whatever they're looking for, .com. So if they're looking for a credit card, they'll type creditcards.com directly. Money, they'll type in money.com. Whatever they're looking for, it's important. It's also very important to the search engines. Google, Bing, all these big search engines trust the generic brands. And as a result, they rank those higher in the search results. Having that organic ranking, that free listing, is a very powerful position to have and can put you ahead of your competitors in whatever category you're in. Zappelin has a long, successful track record using his four-step formula. First, buy the right domain at the right price. Second, develop a great website with credible content. Third, monetize the domain to profitability. And finally, consider all resale options. There's an art of when to sell one of these generic domains that's important. And the lessons learned in the past, I think, make us stronger today. Creditcards.com, for example, bought it for $100,000, spent a few years building it up and wound up selling it to an entrepreneur for $3 million. It was a nice return for everybody. That entrepreneur took creditcards.com and started to apply the new techniques of buying traffic against the generic domain name. And he, two years later, sold that to American Capital for $133 million. So, the learning lessons there are you want to make sure obviously that you retain a piece of equity when you go ahead and sell it, but you also want to apply all of the modern techniques to development of the generic domain. And the good news is there's lots of opportunities today like creditcards.com for us to capitalize on. Some of the biggest wins in the internet and the domain economy are coming up. And I equate this to real estate. It's online internet real estate. And so to own these raw properties, be able to build the business and put them together with a strong ongoing business, that's when you get the exponential effect. And now is the best time ever to be in this space at this time. There's been some outstanding profit taking through the sale of high profile domains in recent years. Domain entrepreneur and blogger Dominic Mueller is quoted as saying, Domains are a lucrative investment vehicle. In fact, domains can go up in value faster than any other commodity on earth. There's more to it than just finding a great generic domain and having that property. You've got to add good content and you've got to be able to perform in the search engines. And that's why we partnered with John Ferber and Domain Holdings. The opportunity that they bring us to generate significant traffic, significant revenues, and John's experience having incubated advertising.com from a startup company to selling it to America Online for $435 million. It's now got a $10 billion market cap inside of America Online. That ability to create content, 
traffic is a critical component to how we're developing these generic brands. Changes every time that they're there, so there's no reliance. John Ferber, founder of Domain Holdings and Advertising.com, shares his thoughts on generic domain development. By building out a site, building out a property, building a real web page and a real framework or a real business model behind it, then investing in search engine optimization to ensure that it shows up high in the results because that matters tremendously, uh, you know, I think is a surefire recipe for increasing the value of a domain. Jason Boschoff, CEO of Domain Holdings, a company that focuses on revenue enhancement for web-based domain assets, and the developer of domains for Zappelin, discusses their collaboration. It's been great. Uh, there's been a lot of opportunities. Uh, Zappi is a true visionary in the market. He does uh, understand how to identify a great domain. I mean, if you look at Zappi's track record, he has, he's a visionary and he understands where the market is going and where the value is. And it's been great for us to be able to work in that relationship and leverage you know, that visionary set. And, um, it's worked out good for us. Having domain holdings on our team means we have the engine behind us to make these properties really valuable. That means I can spend my time scouting the best domains, negotiating prices where we know we're in the money already. We bought an asset that's much more valuable than what we paid. And when you start with an asset that's already valuable, you add the content, the traffic, the revenues, the business partnerships, that's when you get that real exponential lift that we're looking for. Jeff Taylor, founder years. of Monster.com, talks about Zappelin's unique ability to identify the right domains to acquire and the strategy to add value to them. I'm here with uh, Mike Zappelin. Um, we call him Zappy. I've known him for 10 years. I guess I would describe his skill set as he's got a sniffer for the URLs that really have potential. And what he's been able to do is buy and sell URLs as a business in its own right and start to build out some of the content and some of the rich business elements around other URLs and has made them very successful. Every investor wants to minimize risk and of course get to profitability as quickly as possible. The beauty here is we've got very low overhead. You're not talking about inventory or a lot of employees or anything like that. The content we're creating is inexpensive but very valuable what we're creating. So it takes time to build these businesses along the way as we built these. You're gonna get suitors who come along and wanna buy it at every level of development from the beginning of it all the way through to whether you want to take it public or sell it to an end user. That's the opportunity that we have to be uh, clever in how we determine when to exit these businesses and to whom. Each of these generic domain businesses like prescriptiondrugs.com or silver.com are their own individual LLCs. The opportunity in the future is to create a domain holding company. That company like that could be taken public and would have a tremendous value and give everybody significant diversification. That opportunity exists today and there's a tremendous precedent for it. One thing's for sure, while we can't make any specific guarantee, we can guarantee we're gonna use all of our expertise, all of our intellectual capital to make these generic domains as valuable as possible. This is the land grab. This is the most exciting time to own generic domains and we are gonna be a major player in the space. I've done uh, work with uh, Zappi and he's a good friend of mine and he has actually helped me a lot. Uh, he's one of the best connectors in the world. So uh, if you think connectivity, think Zappi. Hey, dogs on real estate? No, anyway, yeah. The most valuable real estate in the world. And the most valuable company. Yeah, you got it. Last October, you were working out of a garage. Well, we, we took it as a calculated risk. There's not many times you can have 100 million people watching your commercial in a positive way. So we figured we'd take that opportunity to tell people about computer.com. And it's even gotten you on the Today Show, for goodness sakes. There you go. That's the added bonus.